So the first card is um, risk, and it says don't take any risks at this time, especially uh, involving money or your career or even love. Uh, and you might find that uh, people around you are trying to manipulate you, so be on the alert. And um, it's the second card is the uh, self-reliance card, which says uh, you might not be able to rely on anyone at this time in your life. And um, it says that hard work and strength, your strength will help you get th get through any kind of crisis. So you're going to have to rely on yourself to get through any kind of problem that you're dealing with. And it's also saying, you know, just watch out. Don't take any risks that you don't need to. It looks like somebody's about to enter your life that will give you some kind of guidance to get you through the situation. And you also need to listen to your intuition uh, for anything that you're dealing with. Now, in the past, you've got the wisdom card, which says doorways of your mind are being open, and you have um, maybe discovered talents that you didn't realize that you possessed. Um, you might also find that, um, have found that psychic powers or your psychic powers um, have grown, and you're able to uh, use that wisdom or that information to get through situations. And going into the future, you've got the trust card. So during this time, you may encounter new love. Keep an open mind a heart. Uh, which will lead to love or friendship. Learn to trust yourself and your own intuition. So basically, it seems like somebody is coming in who is going to be trustworthy, but you also need to rely on your intuition. Don't take any risks. Know that you're going to have to rely on yourself to get through any kind of situation. There might be somebody coming in as well who is about to give you some kind of guidance, uh, but it also this card also says listen to your, in, your intuition to get through any kind of problems. It also says that there might be some kind of opportunity that's going to be presented to you soon. So those are the energies for that week. Okay, so I'm going to just do the main read for you. This is the Tarot Apocalyptus. I have put it in the description box, so please have a look. It's a really lovely deck. It's got a lot of imagery on it. So you've got the Eight of Swords over here, and this is feeling really, really tied up, uh, very, very bound, uh, as though, you know, nothing you're doing is actually working out. You've got a lot of, you know, you've got the Two Crows over here, which is signifying that, uh, you know, um, you feel as though you've been facing a lot of bad luck recently as well. Uh, you can see this man's hands are bound. Um, you know, it seems like, you know, you've got some um, something pending that is causing a lot of anxiety because you've got these two swords hanging over here. It's almost as though there's some kind of uh, something hanging over your head, uh, you know, making you uh, feel as though, you know, you can't really move forward at all. And uh, you're trying very, very hard to get to break through this situation, but you are completely bound and everything seems to be very stuck it's almost like you're going through the winter of your life over here. So everything is ice cold and bound over here. So, you know, going through a very difficult situation right now and not being able to move or do anything. You've got the Ace of Swords coming in over here. So this is something that's going to be able to help you cut all these... Um, Things, these ropes that are binding you. So there's some kind of new information coming in for you uh, that's going to bring a lot of change and that's going to bring uh, um, freedom for you. It's a new idea, maybe. Um, maybe it's going to be new information. It could be something even legal because swords always deal with legalities. So it could be some kind of information coming to you that's going to allow you to act. Um, you know, maybe somebody gives it to you. And you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this information is going to come in, there's also new money coming in over here. So there's some kind of new power coming into your hand, new money coming in. This might be in the form of, a, you know, you could be getting a new job. This could be just you getting getting some kind of new money coming in, uh, maybe um, even signing new contracts with this Ace of Swords as well. So maybe signing new contracts to a job, um, you know, maybe um, getting some payoff from some, kind, from some kind of legal situation, but definitely bringing in some kind of payoff, some kind of money coming in as well. So in the past, you've got the Judgment card, and this is being given a ch second chance to do something. So something, some phase in your life ended, and you've had to follow a new path, take a new direction. Maybe you've had to start something brand new, something you haven't done before. Uh, and you've had to, you'd reached a crossroads in your life, and you actually had to make that decision to move forward. Um, otherwise, you know, you would have been stuck 
the old life was not working out for you. So this seems to have happened in the last uh, year. And you've got the Queen of Wands over here. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign person, um, it was Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, maybe them causing difficulty. But this is also you them talking about you getting that control back in your life again, uh, taking back your power and um, you know, taking back um, direction again in your life. Uh, so finding, um, you know, um, your your energy again, um, you know, and getting in control of that situation. So it seems like mentally you are moving away from any kind of, uh, uh, you know, disempowerment energy that you've had and you're taking control again. You've got the princess of wands of here. So you might be thinking of traveling. This is on your mind. You might be thinking of even further studying or maybe doing the same job you're doing somewhere else, moving away from a situation with the Princess of Wands. Um, this could be a new project also on offer for you. So something coming in for you uh, that has allowed you to get your power back because the Wands card is all about personal power, personal um, endeavors that you want to do. So you may be ch thinking of, of changing uh, moving away from that old situation and now you're getting this ace of swords and this ace of pentacles so new money coming back um, into your life and new power coming back into your hands as well and you're cutting out the past so you've got the lovers there's some kind of decision that you have to make a choice that you have to make about what you want to do for the future and that is definitely coming whether you want to stay or whether you want to go really a big decision coming up you've got the magician card so you have got thoughts in your minds that you that you are trying to manifest this is the card of manifestation whatever you are thinking you are bringing it into your reality and you're also working very very hard uh, mentally as well as physically and maybe multitasking maybe doing a lot of things um, with the magician card it's somebody being really busy with communications uh, somebody who's trying to uh, you know get on top of things meeting deadlines but working really really hard and trying to control that situation or change it uh, to suit uh, their needs. You've got the Three of Pentacles over here. You can see you're very, very focused on your work here, uh, trying to bring that order back to the chaos that you've been going through and making new money. Also learning new skills as well, uh, but working extremely hard. And this is how people are seeing you as a very, very hard worker. Maybe you've started a new job or you will be starting a new job uh, where you will have to be putting in a lot of effort and energy into it. This could also be a card about learning. So you might be doing further training as well. Now you've got the Seven of car uh, Swords over here. So it looks like you've been dealing with a very devious situation here this is the card of deceit a lot of things were in the dark and you haven't been enlightened as yet and you're hoping that that comes to light so maybe you've de dealt with somebody who was very deceptive and you're hoping that they get their justice as well so going into the future you've got the three of wands the chariot and the hanged man the three of wands is you know a, generally a card about travel it's about meeting a lot of people it's about whatever project you have in your mind you put it into action and now you're waiting for it to uh, show results um you know this is um with this you've got all this um waiting for all this it's usually the card about waiting for your ships to come in uh and it looks like here yeah, they're waiting for the camels to come in in this particular deck um but once it does come in, and it will, um, it looks like, you know, you'll get a lot of recognition as well. So whatever ideas, whatever projects, whatever you have put out there is going to come back to you, but bring in a lot of abundance as well. You've got the chariot over here. And this shows that, you know, you're working with great determination. You can see this man's pointing forward to the future and moving, you know, with a lot of energy forward. So it looks like whatever you're, uh, you've decided, whatever project, you're very enthusiastic about it, and you want it to su succeed. Now, the chariot card is a card about, um, you know, success. It is a card about um, uh, achievement uh, and getting recognition. But provided you put in the hard work and provided that you take um, control of that situation, um, and it comes after, you know, a lot of difficulty. This could also be a home move. So you might be thinking about relocating or you might be thinking of, of moving off somewhere else to do, um, you know, this particular job. You've got this uh, page, a Princess of Wands over here, which is also a card about relocation, about travel, about movement. So this could well be the case. Maybe your work is taking you, um, you know, um, overseas. The Three of Wands is also a card about travel. It's a card about dealing with foreign people or, you know, foreigners or um, things that you don't usually deal with in your daily life. So this is also about, you know, international travel, working with international people, taking control and even moving. So you could well be thinking about moving house or uh, to do that job that you're doing. You've got the hangman over here. So this is having to make some kind of sacrifice uh, in order for you to get 
achievement to come in. Now, um, it looks like things seem to be a bit of a standstill and you're now deciding about whether or not whatever you need to sacrifice is going to be worth, uh, you know, getting um, forward in life. So you're trying to make that decision. Maybe this is why the lover's card is over here. So you're trying to make a decision about whether you should go go for it or whether you should um, should stay in that situation. And this is what that sacrifice is about with the hanged man. Now, if you do um, make that sacrifice, it looks like a lot of abundance comes in. You've got plenty of camels coming in over here, bringing in all the wealth and a lot of recognition. People, you know, bowing down to this man, this king. Um, and uh, it looks like uh, once you start, once you make it, the decision, things start moving very quickly. So you are faced uh, with a, a very difficult uh, decision. Maybe it's difficult for you to actually even move or difficult for you to make that decision to leave things behind. But it looks like you'll have to give up something in order for you to get uh, ahead of, uh, and prosper. So um, being faced with a rather difficult decision at the moment about whether or not you should be staying or whether you should be going, uh, you know, um, whether you should be moving it looks like a, a big life-changing decision. The lover's card is usually, a, you know, it's a ma major arcana. So there is a big decision that needs to be made here for you. A big change of life. So you've got the Ten of Spring. as This is the animal tarot for the oracle read. And it says you're working too hard and the stress will soon be too much. Uh, reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. Now, the Ten of Spring is like the Ten of Wands. So you are carrying a lot of responsibilities and burdens uh, and you'll have to let go of them. Otherwise, you know, they will um, affect you. Um, you need to take a little bit of a break as well. Uh, but it's, it's also the Ten um, of Wands. So it's about the ending of a difficult cycle. And you can see this dog's moving away from, you know, that house. So you are going to be launching out into something brand new. Now, this is the Ten of Wands, and you've got the ten, um, the Ace of Swords over here, and you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So after this Ten, this difficult period of responsibilities and burdens and, you know, a lot of distress, it looks like things are going to change, and the cycle is now over for you. You've got um, the Magician card is also a one. So once this... You know, you're going through this, these difficulties now, but you've got the magician, which is also the beginning of a cycle, which says there's magic in the air and you can manifest anything you need to be successful. You've got the magician twice in this card deck. So whatever you think is going to be uh, coming into um, your experience. So be positive in what you think and know that you're beginning a new cycle and moving forward as well. You've got this horse really galloping forward. So something brand new coming to push you into the future. And you've got the renewal card, which is uh, the judgment card which is saying it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on your way, so that you're on your path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without any judgment and fearlessly embrace what is to come. With the judgment card, it is about reaching that crossroads in your life and taking a, a different path, doing something absolutely different. So it looks like there's going to be some kind of opportunity that presents itself to you, something brand new that allows you to change direction. So you're going to have to make a decision uh, in order for you to move forward. And it looks like there's a very international flavor to it. So you will not be stuck in that same position that you are in. At the moment, you ha will have to sacrifice something, uh, you know, um, maybe, you know, give up that home that you loved or give up that place where you love living where you you are at. Maybe you love the job that you're doing, but it looks like you're going to have to give something up in order for you to move forward and get um, ahead in life. And it looks like once you make that decision, a lot of wealth uh, and recognition come in for you and there will be success. So being faced with a very difficult decision and having to think about it very carefully before you make it in order for you to get unstuck from the situation. And it looks like new money is going to be coming in as well. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye. Thank you.